my name is Ryan Scarpino. This is my 1963 Cadillac convertible. Full custom, uh, black cherry candy paint job. Original interior, rebuilt the original 390 in it, uh, rebuilt the transmission. Uh, everything's pretty much being gone through and uh, we got Ride Tech Air Ride, Luxor 20 inch, 22 inch wire wheels on it and uh, I drive the shit out of this thing every day. My name is Wayne Arthur, I'm from Clewiston, Florida. Um, I don't know the inspiration, I just wanted to build a rat, rat ride that nobody else had. It's an 88 Bronco 2. What makes this uh, unique? Uh, one, it's on 26s, which most rat rods aren't. Um, it's an old, it's a newer body style. It's not the old body style like most people use for rat rods. Um, it's got a full custom suspension, full custom frame. The uh, the body's been narrowed eight inches and chopped six inches. Uh, I don't know. Some of the highlights is the I use the front fenders for the dash. The seats are from uh, patio chairs. Uh, the grill's from an old tractor. And then um, some of the throw switches that are in it. The one down there on there is for the headlights. The other one on the dash is for the, uh, the flamethrowers. You can see the propane tank for the flamethrowers. And then the tanks for the air ride. Most of it was just stuff I had laying around or traded for, traded my friends for it. I tried to build up more of a, an old school way. Just me, a couple buddies in a shop. Yeah. We, know, we actually have full time jobs, we don't do this, it's just a hobby. Just play around. So, yeah. Uh, just a small block 302 Ford motor. Uh, I've got an aftermarket intake and carburetor on it, and it, it's about it. And there's nothing fancy. It's a three-speed automatic transmission. Uh, one of the most things that get most photography is, is the hood ornament. People seem to love the hood ornament. The, uh, I don't know if you can get a right over there. There's the the coil packs for the flamethrowers. I put them in a uh, blaster cans. Give it a little bit of a rat rod look. And then the pedals are uh, custom made. The home pedals, the brake pedal and the gas pedals. I'm gonna walk around here and open the door. And zoom down in there on it. This is my door handles, how to get in and out, custom made all that. But the pedals, I don't know if you let me cuss, but it says fucking send it on them. And the toolbox holds all my air management, stuff of that nature. Windows actually will come in and out on the right. So that's. I mean, it's about it. I mean, I try to keep it mostly forward. There's a few other items that aren't forward, but. <laughs> and then you got my fuel gauge. And I got the, the electrical sticker because I thought it was funny. <laughs> Most people, I've had people ask me what I plug into and I tell them it's a sticker, they just, they start laughing at me. Like I say, it's pretty much just, I don't know where the vision came from. It just, you get going, you, you build it and you cut it apart and redo it because it didn't look right. Just keep working on it until you get it right. Hot. 1968 C10. I'm the second owner of the truck. It's built by um, the Hydroshocks, which is a coilover rear suspension, independent nine inch rear suspension. Jimmy Bullard out of Kernsville, North Carolina. 
these are behind the hydro shocks, built the frame. A one off custom frame with a stainless steel with a stainless steel uh, exhaust. Um, it's all nine inch rear independent suspension. It raises and lowers four inches of travel and um, you're always riding on four inches of coil spring at all times, so you got a good good ride to it. The truck is originally out of um, Atlanta, Georgia, where it was bought brand new by a guy named Lyle Smith. I have all the documentation the truck was bought and sold brand new in Atlanta on June 6, uh, 1968. And uh, it's all original sheet metal to the truck that was moved over to here. Got the weld wheels on it. Uh, playing around with a little bit of a red line tires. Put a red line on the wheels for welds. We gave it a little different look. The inside of the truck, there's all kind of um, there's all kind of seats you can buy for these trucks, but that's actually out of a back of a 2007 Silverado crew cab. That's the back seat out of it. It uh, looks good and clean and flush. It's a bench seat with a center console and cup holders. It's got a slap stick in it. It's got navigation. It's got a stereo system. Head liners. It's got all the speakers in it. Four eights across the back. Air conditioning. Good solid truck. I mean, it's, it's, it's all metal. It's got the slosh tubs in the front. Great people at slosh tubs. All fiberglass tubs, cleans things up. It's got a 6.2 LSA supercharged motor in it. Um, Terminator X management system on it with a wildwood brake system on it. Uh, air conditioning. Um, just a good, fun truck. A lot of power, a lot of fun to drive, and uh, enjoy it. This is the uh, the first vehicle I built. I built it in 2017. Uh, we custom built the frame completely uh, out of two by three square tubing. We took about, I think we took a little over a year to build this. Uh, I originally was gonna put a 350 small block in it, but we ended up going with a five cylinder uh, Mercedes turbo diesel out of an 85 uh, 300D. Uh, I've seen a Jeep similar to this. Everybody knows about the roadkill Jeep. And I wanted to do something similar, but but yet still different. So we took about a year and built this and uh, it turned out really good. And you know, Rat Roger like potato chips, you just can't have one. So I ended up building a Mac uh, cement truck and it was all laid out like this uh, with a twin turbo 7.3 uh, international diesel engine in it. And it got to be a little cumbersome to carry around because it was so big. It weighed like 7,000 pounds, you know. So I ended up trading it for the Model T. Uh, this Model T's been, been through several owners. I was not the original builder, but I've always wanted a Model A. And I was here last year and I seen this one. And whenever I seen it, it had a for sale sign on it and I tried to get a hold of the buyer, the seller and he ended up selling it before I got to it. Uh, Ironically, three weeks later, I was at another car show in Port Charlotte, and this car showed up for sale again. And I did a deal with the guy. We ended up trading the Mac and a little bit of cash for this. And now I've got it. And then we've got a 36-foot gooseneck trailer that we haul these on, and I was using my, my dually to haul it, but I wanted to build a, a new tow vehicle, so I ran across this 64 International uh, at an estate sale. It's kind of rare because it's a four-door. Uh, the two-door grain trucks are everywhere, but uh, the four-doors were mainly municipality buys, like the railroad, the military, uh, DOT road crews, and the fire departments, because you could haul the, the firemen and the crew workers in it with you. That's why they call it a travel crew. And uh, I picked it up in Naples at an estate sale, got it for a really good price. And uh, I bought a, a 93 ambulance, Ford ambulance, and I stripped it all down to the chassis and the engine, I pulled the automatic out, put a five speed in it, and uh, mounted the, the cab onto it. it. It already came fully air ride, front and back. So we, uh, we wanted to use it for a tow vehicle, so it's got all King Ranch interior. Uh, it's got the five speeds, it's got air conditioning, it's got a sound system in it. So we pulled the other two vehicles with it. So we wanted to kind of be comfortable. So we did all King Ranch, all the electric seats and everything in it work. And uh, it's a really nice truck. It's not the fastest truck on the road, 
about 65 is all it wants to do with the trailer behind it because of the gear ratio but it's a really nice truck it looks rough but it rides like a brand new vehicle and it's comfortable so but that's the third one i built maybe the last one i don't know <laughs>